Hey, hey, so I have my Glossier holiday tutorial for you, and I thought I would start with like the beginning prep. Just took a shower, and you're gonna get ready for the night. My face is cleaned, so it's like the prep. So, what I do is I start with Glossier's Super Balance Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin B5 Serum. And what's cool about this is that it acts like it's a, it's a moisturizer or serum, but it really just kind of plumps and adds really great moisture to your face. I'm super dry right here because of the winter season and it's just like sandpaper. It's really annoying. And uh, this is great. They refer to it as kind of like Gatorade for your face. So I actually really like it. it was I wasn't sure because I always thought I broke out with hyaluronic acid and I haven't. It comes in a dropper like this and I just kind of drop it on my face. As you can see, I have dark spots. I had crazy acne last year. I do not know why. I think it was because of sugar. I don't know if that's scientifically proven if sugar makes you break out, but yeah, I got I don't eat sugar anymore. I, like I'll eat natural sugars but not chocolate or like refined sugars anymore and I stopped breaking out. But like I've scarring. You get to see this is like period. I get period pimples still. So since mine just ended, I have a couple here. So that's all in and then I go in with the Glossier priming moisturizer and I'm a fan of this, as you can see, it's gone. I just ordered a new one um, for their Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale, so I'm pretty pumped about that. It's like, I have to squeeze it out. But I really like this, again, I also have sensitive skin, so like anything too emollient and like oily is just annoying. And this has been so great. I haven't broken out from it. It's so nice. Let all of that kind of like work its magic in my face. And I'm going to go ahead and in it to get this wet mess tamed and handled. And I'll be back to show you guys how to get a holiday look. All right, so I am back in my bathroom, semi dressed. Hair is done, it's not a wet mess anymore. And yeah, so let's get to this holiday tutorial. I wanted to point out Glossier came out with a nail polish and it's Glossier Pink. So my nails are polished with that color that came in the holiday set. I really like it. It's kind of a fresher color for the holidays. I feel like a lot of us, a lot of people, including myself, go with reds or there's gold and glitter. But like against my glittery top, it's kind of a nice contrast to like a really glam look so I really like it it'll be perfect for the holidays and spring when it comes around so yeah let's get to it now I'm gonna start with the coverage and foundation I use Glossier skin perfecting at 10 and I really love it it's coverage but it's super light and it's fresh and it's breathable so I really appreciate that. And again, like I said, I don't break out from it. So I love that. So I shake it. I will just kind of squirt it on my face. All right, then I'm gonna go in with Glossier Stretch Concealer. And I've had this for a while. I ordered a new one from the Black Friday sale. So I go in with this like mini Sephora brush. As you can see, I have dark spots. So I go in with the dark color and cover them. This actually lasts a while. I've had it for a couple months. Super nice. So this is the dark and it came, I got the set two. I forgot what it's called, but it came with this and the foundation. And I get I have both dark. So what's cool is like you don't have to buy the sets all the time. You could just buy what you need. So I've had to replace the foundation already. Alright. So for my eyes, the holiday set came with a really nice pencil called a graphite. And I like a smoky eye all the time. So I'm going to go in and line 
my eye. Again, I am so lazy, so. And then I'm gonna also use this as a shadow. So I'm gonna go in. And then I'll use my finger to blend that in. For a more, even more smokier effect, I love, it's, I use it so much, it's fairly new, but it's a L'Oreal Infallible Smudge Smoky Eye Stick, and I use this all the time. So I'll kind of go in a little bit more over, and just kind of creates a little bit more of a heavier, smokier, defined, smudged line. That's how I love my shadows. I mostly do browns and grays, but I'm using that graphite color. But now for brows, this is a Glossier's Boy Brow, and I've been using this for a while. This is my third one. I really like this because it tames yet doesn't make my brows hard and I have thick brows as you can tell so it kind of in a weird way softens yet tames them. I need to get my brows done so bad. I really like this product and I just I don't mind the pencils but this just kind of gets the whole brow covered in like one swoop of not one but you know you know I don't need to go in back and forth with the pencil and fill in my brow hairs so I like that so brows are done then bronzer I love bronzer I know I'm tan but I like a glow and I'm a big fan of NARS's Laguna liquid bronzer and it works really nice so just kind of put some on my wrist and then I go in with max 190 130 130 brush and just kind of go in a three like that super easy super lazy <laughs> there's really no technique I do just kind of I've been going kind of a blend in and then now for the under eye concealer and I kind of covered up dark spots with Glossier's dark stretch concealer but I like a really bright and white under eye so I went up a color I got the lighter shade above dark, which is medium, and so I'll go in and just pack it on. I'm just kind of triangle, kind of. Yes, I put a lot of concealer on. I like it. I go in with a bronzer, and it's actually NARS as well. I kind of gravitate towards NARS. I have no idea why, but it doesn't make me break out. I like it, and so I use it. Uh, this palette my sister bought me, and it has Laguna Bronzer and some other nice colors. Deep Throw, Miss Liberty, Final Cut, and Sex Fantasy. So I tend to just use the bronzer more. And I don't use powder, no reason why, I just 
haven't used it in a while. I just noticed I'm going to cover up a nice pimple with the stretch concealer. All right. And now for mascara. Ooh, wait. Blush. I'm going to do blush. In the these <laughs> NARS stick. Um, I stole these from my mom. Sorry, mom. But actually, I she knows I borrowed them. But yeah, so I'll go in with like a cream. A little creamy blush. Just kind of smooth it on with my finger. Again, I'll go up on my brow bone. No idea why, but my mom used to do that, so she, my mom still does that, so I just kind of copied her. And I'm really into Max Mineral Lies Blush in Lovejoy. It's a nice color. I like anything that glows and like looks natural. A little goes a long way. But again, going with the blush. My mom used to do that. So I do it. All right, and I think now time for mascara. So I actually use CoverGirl's Katie Cat Eye. I read about this in Bazaar Magazine, and I actually really like it. I had lash extensions for the past year, and I really loved them, but for some reason I wanted to take a break, and I just love lashes. I don't know, I just think they look really pretty. I don't have any. They're kind of short and annoying, but love my lashes, love what God gave me, but yeah, I just love a bigger lash. So I was looking for like a good mascara and I just kind of happened to read about this one in Bazaar and I really like it. I love a lot of mascara. So while my mascara is setting and before I do another coat, I'm going to go in with Glossier's Heliscope in Moonstone. And it's a really nice light color. I have Topaz already and I really liked it. As you can see. Um, it's a great color. So, uh, kind of swipe it on. Go up on my brow bone. Cupid's bow. Tip of my nose. Love the topaz. It's another nice light color. I think I might put some. A little more glowy eye. So yeah pretty much my face and now for lips I'm going to show you three color options three alternatives for lips for the holidays as well so first is the light and simple just go with the simple gloss this is the gloss that came with the holiday set I mean you might be just doing something with your family and you know, you don't want to go crazy with your makeup. It's really fresh and soft and not sticky. It's so nice. So yeah, this is my first look for you guys. Little holiday makeup look. Very glowy, very fresh, a little smoky eye. It's very me. I love it. Uh, let's say you want to go with a tiny bit of color. Take off that gloss. And if you want a little bit of color, I'm going to use Glossier's Generation G. And it's a nice lip stain like color, kind of like you've been eating a cherry popsicle. It's a nice little stain, almost like a lip balm, not quite a lipstick. So it reminds me of strawberry crush soda. And I like to rub it in. 
and I love that. But if you want a little bit of more gloss, I would add a little bit of gloss to it. I like to rub off the tips if I'm gonna gloss over lipstick just because I don't want the color to change. Yeah, this is a more glossy pink lip. I really like it, a little bit more color, a little bit, a little bit of something something. And then my last recommendation, if you kind of want to bring it up a notch, I think the holidays are perfect for stepping out of the box, bringing in some color and some glam and some glitter. Love that. Other lip color idea for you. To go in with a lip pencil and you're gonna line your lips. I'm gonna go, I use this matte color, it's Garnet by MAC, but I'm gonna go in with this NYX color and cap array. NYX's Intense Butter Gloss in Cranberry Pie. So you can go in with a nice red color, and this one's really pretty. But it's the holidays, so let's bring up the game a little bit and pop on some glitter. Yes. So Pat McGrath brought back a glittery lip and she kills it and I bought one of her lip kits it was a glitter lip kit but I got an email that it sold out so I couldn't I like bought it and everything and I guess it sold out so but why not do it more affordably I'm gonna put some in the cap it's kind of a lot and with the gloss you're just gonna go over the glitter. And yeah, so it's a glittery lip. I really like it. I think that's a great way to kind of bring out the holiday spirit and just elevate your look. I think, I mean, this is glitter on glitter, but a black turtleneck, just something super easy, a nice sweater and a standout lip. I think it's amazing. I think the graphite and the red really kind of complement each other and especially they're both glittery and a little sheen. It's just so fun for the holidays. So I really like this look. I'm definitely gonna be rocking something like this this season. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. This was my first beauty tutorial. I don't think I'm that great at them, but I just wanted to show you guys that I'm a really big fan of Glossier's products and you know how I use them. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you liked this video, if you want to ever try any beauty products but are kind of unsure, let me know and I'll try them out for you. So yeah, I will let you go and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.